What is up YouTube? Mike here and today I'm going to do a long overdue Apple rant. Now if you've watched my channel you know that I own many Apple products. And this is not necessarily mean, meaning to bash Apple but at the same time I think Apple kind of deserves a little bit of bashing. And really the question that I kind of wanted to talk about and answer is has Microsoft out appled Apple? And what I mean by that is I remember the probably five, 10 years ago, Apple, every time they released a new product, for whatever reason, they just made you want it. Now, whether you need it or not, you just wanted it. And they were just that good and that interesting and innovative. But here recently, it seems like, well, I guess since Steve Jobs died even, that it's just went on the decline downhill. Now, I can only speak for myself as a consumer, but I, I do remember I bought my first Apple product back in 09, we bought an iMac and we had that computer for over five years, maybe even about eight years, but great computer. But ever since that gateway product, I, I went and I got an iPhone, went, got a MacBook Pro, then MacBook Air. And it just, whether I needed the product or not, every time Apple would release something, I just felt like I had to have it. I mean, I just thought they were that cool, that innovative, and they just made me want the product. But lately, I would say, especially in the last five years, it's just not been the case. I've recently, you know, switched to Microsoft, uh, starting with the Surface line. And just even recently with the new MacBook Pro, there's a ton of reviews out there of it now. And if you watch those reviews, I've yet to see one that was just 100% positive. I mean, every review, it seems like they all started out, they would say how fast the SSDs are and just all the good things about it. And there was always with, but... And of course, they would all talk about the dongleitis, which is what everybody's focusing on. But just looking at that compared to the 2015 models, it just really doesn't seem it is worth the upgrade. I mean, obviously, every time build quality, I think Apple's probably one of the more sexier products out there for the laptops. I mean, the build quality is awesome. It just looks cool. But performance, it just seems meh, you know. But with the recent, you know, you got the Surface Studio that came out, the Surface Book, with Microsoft, I think they're killing it. I mean, I've got a Surface Pro 4, I've got a gaming PC that me and my son built. I mean, I really don't need another computer, whether it be laptop or desktop, but Microsoft has done what Apple used to do to me. I don't need the product, but I want it. You know, they actually get me excited about tech again. And so kind of that's how where I think Microsoft is beating Apple nowadays. It seems like with Apple, any of their new products that they've released in the last two years, I just, really had no desire to get i mean they just they don't get me excited they don't get me w to want to go out and buy it to spend my money but it seems like microsoft has done that lately especially like i said with the surface book with performance base just coming out the original surface book the surface pro 4 and of course the surface studio so they just feel like hey you know i've got to have it and like i said to me that is what i think apple used to do um, to the general public it seems like Anytime there's a new Apple product, people just go crazy and they go out and buy it. And I think it's shifting where that's kind of what people are saying and feeling about Microsoft. And obviously I know that right now, obviously Apple is still probably the most profitable company in the world. Uh, they're still selling millions of iPhones and I'm pretty sure the sales of the current uh, Surface Pro, not Surface Pro, but the MacBook Pro is probably doing really well. But like I said, I, I can't be the only one that feels this way, but to me, I think Apple's just kind of gotten boring. And I think Microsoft is what Apple used to be when it comes to generating that excitement for their products. But anyway, that was just my personal rant about Apple and how I think Microsoft is kicking their butt when it comes to innovation and just wanting, making me want to have those products. So curious what you guys think. If you think I'm way off base, I'm sure I'm going to get some dislikes from this. There'll probably be some serious fanboys uh in the comments tearing me up but whatever i'm curious what you guys think regardless uh because i can say for me apple is definitely boring me and uh, microsoft is not they actually get me excited about their products so with that if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed please do so